in five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, what about part two? Ooh, they can't do what I do. Ooh, do it with a two like crew. Yeah, still gotta hit my groove. Ooh, when I dance, I'ma do my move. Ooh, IG and Fubber G get the Dallas. All the girls know that I'm the Wallace. It's PJ. Are we on that? What's good, you two? It's your boy, Mr. Oh My God. And we back here with another banger. So look, this is what I got today, y'all. I'm about to drop my first Q&A. Everybody been having questions for me, been asking questions. It's a lot of stuff people want to know. So I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to put it all right here right now. I'm about to answer all y'all questions, whatever y'all got. I got it all right here. I'm going to answer everything. All April, y'all, we dropping bangers. The whole game, we dropping bangers. This is my first video, April 1st. April 1st, I'm dropping this video right here. My first video, Q&A for real. So y'all can get to know me. A lot of y'all know some of me, but not like all of me. So I'm going to answer all these questions y'all got. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get into it. But I need everybody to get this video a thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Go drop in the comments what videos, what bangers y'all want to see from me. I'm going to be reading the comments, all that. Hey, turn on my post notification bell so you won't miss an upload. I don't want y'all to miss no bangers. We dropping bangers after bangers after bangers. I don't want y'all to miss anything, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. So let's get into it. All right, so first question. What is your real name? Hey, y'all federal too, yo. Hey, don't nobody around the world. Not too many people know my real name, though. All right. So my real name, I'm about to give it to y'all right now. It's Eldridge Antonio Howard the Fourth. That's my real name, y'all. Eldridge Antonio Howard the Fourth. So like me, my father, my grandfather, and my great grandfather, we all got the same name. My great grandfather a, a senior, my grandfather a junior, my dad is a third, and I'm the fourth. But we all got the same name, y'all. That's why in my username or on my platforms, like all my social handles, everything got the IV on it. I'm the fourth. I'm the fourth elder child for the first. So that's why I put that on my like, you know, all my like socials. But that's my real name, Eldridge Antonio Howard the fourth. Next question. What does PJ stand for and how did you get it? All right. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. All right. PJ stands for Pudgy Jr. So, funny story, right? They call my father. They call him Pudgy. They call Pops Pudgy. They call me Pudgy Jr. Why? Because my Pops growing up, like, he from the South, whatever. So, you know, he was chubby, like, as a baby Fat, you know, chubby cheeks, chubby thighs, everything, just fat. So, like, his family, growing up, named him Pudgy. And it stuck with him. Like, to this day, they call him Pudgy. So, my my dad was in the military. And when I was born, like, his, like, military buddies and stuff, like, they was just, like, um, he was, like, what's, like, what should I call him? Or whatever, like, nickname-wise. So when I was born, I was chubby, like chubby thighs, chubby cheeks, like just a little real fat, chubby baby. So um they was like, call him Pudgy Jr. And that's how I got PJ. So the PJ stand for Pudgy Jr. Everybody around here like think my real name PJ. My real name Eldridge. But the PJ stands for Pudgy Jr. Alright, y'all ain't know that though. Okay. All right. Next question. When is your birthday? My birthday is May the 6th. So, yeah, I'm a Taurus. Yeah, get y'all a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. It ain't nothing like a Taurus. We different, though. We different. We different. We different. We different. So, May 6th is my birthday. Y'all say the date. It's coming up real soon. All right. May the 6th. What's your real age? I am 30 years old. 30. Um, let me see. 
have how has how has life been for me? Um, life's been good. Life's been very good though. I can honestly say I'm living my best life, y'all. Like, you know, um getting money, getting to it. You know what I'm saying? Multiple uh sources of income. Can't 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 be mad at that, y'all. Can't be mad at that. But life has been good. Uh what college did I go to? <laughs> I went to Wake Forest University. That's in Winston Salem, um, North Carolina. Uh yeah, so I went to school there. Um and this piggyback off another question too. Like, did I play any sports growing up? Yeah, I actually played uh basketball, football, and baseball growing up. Baseball was my first sport growing up. Um and football was really my last sport. I my second sport I ever like got introduced to was basketball. But it's funny that I went to I went to college, Wake Forest University for football though. Like I went to college, played football. You know what I'm saying? But really, baseball was really my true love, my first sport. And I played all I played all these sports from like age five all the way through high school though. But went to college at Wake Forest University. That's why I went to school at the um play football. Um what did I get my degrees in? I got my degrees in education. So I went to Wake Forest to play football. And I majored in education. Um, what's another good question? Oh, that's a good question right here. Are you finna take are you finna take YouTube more serious now? Yeah, I think I'm going to take YouTube serious, y'all. I think I'm, I'm going to take YouTube serious. Why? It's like a big consistency thing. But I'll be on all social media platforms. I always had a YouTube. But, like, I really only uploaded. I made a video here and there every once in a while. But I really be uploading straight, like, music stuff on my YouTube channel. Like, if I drop a song, I drop the audio, the music video. That's really what I be using YouTube for. But I'm about to make more content on YouTube for y'all. Because I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to make more content. I'm going to take YouTube more serious. I'm going to try to get y'all at least two, two, three videos a week. But all April, I'm dropping. I'm dropping all April, y'all. But, yes, I definitely will be taking YouTube more serious. Um, Don't forget to drop in the comments what y'all want to see, though. I need to really know what y'all want to see. I'm doing it for y'all. Whatever like interests y'all, I'm going to I'm make videos for y'all. But, yeah. I'm definitely going to take YouTube more serious now. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's just a big consistency thing. Like, everything in life is consistency, though. But I'm really going to take YouTube more serious with the uploads and all that. Most definitely. Um, uh, what is my biggest pet peeve? That's a good question, though. Now that I'm thinking about it, my biggest pet peeve, all right, my biggest pet peeve, I feel like you got to, like, practice what you preach. Like, that's my biggest pet peeve, practice what you pe preach. Like, don't, like, say one thing and do another. You get what I'm saying? Like, stand on what you preach. Like, I don't like hypocrites. I don't like, I don't like people that, like, say one thing but do the, do another. Like, I don't like that. That's my, That's probably my biggest pet peeve, though. I'm a real chill dude, you feel me? But my biggest pet pet peeve probably would be to practice what you preach for sure. For sure, for sure. What made what made me start dancing? I ain't gonna lie, like since I knew what dancing was, maybe since like the age of five, I was like real young. Like my family has like a dancing background. Like we always been around music. Um my mom was in the band. She went to college for band. She was like a, uh, I think a flag girl. So she was in like the marching band in college. She went to a HBCU. You know what I'm saying? My father was a drum major in in the band and all of that. So it's just like family ties. You know, family always would have been. My mom and father both been dancing. Like you know, um, I was always around it growing up. My mom worked worked with a, a local high school band. 
So I was always at practices growing up. I was just always around music. And to this day, I like always dance. Like it's like a hobby for me. Like dancing is a hobby. It's fun. Like it, re it really relieves. Like I don't really get stressed like that, but like dancing relieves any stress or like, you know, anything that like it just cle it's a, it clears my mind. Like it's just, you know, that one thing, like what do you do to clear your mind? Like the like, ease ease everything my answer is dancing so yeah I've, I've been dancing since i knew what dancing was since i even knew how to spell dancing i've been dancing before then you feel me but yeah it says how are you mentally and physically oh i'm good i'm straight like i don't i live life to the fullest y'all like when i say i really live life to the fullest Everything is good. I'm like mentally, I'm good. I'm in a good state of mind. Physically, I'm good. I do need to lose a little bit of weight, though, y'all. I've been eating real good, though. I'm trying to lose about a good 15 to 20 pounds. Now I'm going to get my football body back close to it. But like, like really, though, y'all, I've really been good mentally and physically. I've been great. Who is your favorite rap artist or artist in general? Mmm... I don't really have a favorite artist. I can honestly say I don't really have a favorite artist. But I do, I do, I, I like dancing music. So I really like y'all, that's one, this one thing about me. I'm not really a lyrical person. Like I'm really like, I like music based off of the beat. Like if I could dance to it or whatever like that. But if I had to choose a favorite artist, I probably would say Rod Wave. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like, it, it sound like church. Like if, I don't know if he's singing. I don't know what you call it. But I like Rod Wade though. I just like how his music sound. It's like the melody. You know what I'm saying? I just like, oh, I could bump like in the car. Like me and friend, like in the car, we could bump Rod Wade. Just run the whole, like it's not like a bad Rod Wade song to me. I could play the whole album. Just let it run through. So I honestly, I would honestly, honestly say Rod Way if I had to uh, pick a favorite. Even though I really don't have a favorite, but I listen to Rod Wave a lot though. Um, do I have any? Do I personally have any more music coming out? It's crazy that somebody asked that. Because I really do. I ain't tell nobody. And, and y'all gonna be like, it's gonna be like a shock. Y'all gonna be like, like, what? I did not see this coming. I definitely, like, probably, like, the, the summer, getting ready to go into the summertime. I'm gonna drop a banger. But I definitely got more music coming. You know, I'm like, what? Y'all know I'm coming. I got more music on the way. Stay, stay, stay tuned now. Hey. Just make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ready? Just make sure y'all ready. When I say ready, I'm talking about ready. Ready, ready. I got some more music. Uh, if I could link up with any influencer, who would you want to link up with? Honestly, though, y'all. I wouldn't say I have like a specific somebody I would want to link with. You know what I'm saying? Well, let's say this. I really link with a lot of people over the years because I've been doing this for a while. I link with almost everybody that y'all so-called influencer or whatever. But I would even link with people, you know, make content, whatever, with people that's not really influencers. You know what I'm saying? Because I just love to have fun. Like, and I, you know, I'm not a stranger. So, yeah, I link with a lot of influencers already in my lifetime. Like, you name them, I link with them. That's how it is. But I w I'm not opposed to linking with non-influencers, too, like, to help them and stuff like that. So, I, I don't have a favorite, or I, I can't say I have a favorite influencer. I, like, it's, they all special in their own way. They all bring something to the table. So, I really can't say I have a favorite, though. Or as far as linking, I link with almost everybody. Um, what's another question? 
when did I start doing TikToks? To be honest, I'm um I started TikTok. I would say, well, I really made an account 2019. The only reason I made a TikTok, y'all, because like my cut, it's crazy. My cousin, my he like in the whole A and R thing, like the music, like industry and everything like that. He like he hit me up. He like yo, he was like PJ. And shout out to him too. He was like, yo, PJ, he was like, you you heard of this app called TikTok? You need to get on the app. And, and back then, all I had was, uh, I ain't even had YouTube back then, y'all. All I really had was like, I had like Facebook, but really Instagram. I was just on Instagram. I was going viral on Instagram and all that. So I'm just like, TikTok, I'm just like, uh, I might, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's just a whole nother app I got to learn, try, you know. I said, all right, you know, you know how you kind of brush somebody off a little bit, be like, all right, bet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see what it's about. But when I, uh, me and my homeboy, me and my homeboy, homeboy made this first song or whatever like that called Hit Your Groove, it's just like, boy, I need somewhere to put the dance challenge. Like, you know what I'm saying? I need somewhere to put the dance challenge. So I was just like, this is my time to get on TikTok to see how this works. So. The song came out January 1st, 2020, but I made, I like uploaded like my first video, like December 31st, 2019, or like in December of 2019. That's when I first made a TikTok just to drop the dance challenge. I needed somewhere to put it. So it could, you know, like circulate. So I, I would say that's when I started making TikToks, like December of 2019. All right. Uh, what's another question? Are you and Young Friend really related? You might as well say that. You might as well say we we really related. We not like blood, but we like blood. What do I mean by that? It's just like, it's like a sister that I never had. I have brother. I have a, I have a brother. Like I don't have any sisters or nothing. So that's like my little sister. It's like a little sister I always wanted. So we not like blood, blood related, like same blood. But it's like I know I like I know all her family, all her brothers, her mom, her grandpa, you know, everybody. So it's like they family. So I would say we not blood related, but we are like close related. Like close. People been asking me that for years on the like videos and stuff like that. But there you go, that's your answer. Uh What's another question, y'all? It's, it's a lot of questions. Uh, uh, <laughs> are you in a serious? Are you in a serious relationship? Nah, I'm not in a serious relationship. Not at all. Like. Can I, can I get in a serious relationship? Maybe one day. But the reason why, this is a good question though. People be asking me, they be like, boy, why are you not in a relationship? You get what I'm saying? And I would say the reason why I'm not in a relationship is because I have to find like the female's intentions. And I love females. I love them. I love females. Like they're like uh a god goddess to me like i love them i love them so much but why am i not in a relationship because i got to find a female that's truly for me i feel like i got found one that's truly for me you feel me what's good quibo hey, hey i heard everything you said i Feel you 100%. <laughs> yeah, the one that's for you. Exactly. Like I don't I don't like no leeches. Like I don't like no females. It's just like for the name. They got to be in it for the right reasons. Like no chout. No, I said chout. No clout chasing. Okay. None of that. They shouldn't even care about what you got going exactly. on. Exactly. Like, like I want I want a female that want me for me, not for what I have. Nothing like that. And I'm not saying it's not no females out there that's, you know, that have those morals or like it probably is females out there. I just, I just have to like be careful. That's what I'm saying. So I'm not opposed to a relationship. I just have to really know the female before I, you know what I'm saying? And which I'm willing to. It's just, 
Some females be welling, boy. Like, I see it every day. Like, I don't know. It's maybe the city I'm from. I don't know. I see it every day. A lot of females be welling. But a lot of females gonna be like, a lot of niggas be welling. A lot of males be welling, too. But a lot of, I just be like, and, and some females think they sneaky. I know. I know. But, like, a lot of females sneaky, like, stuff you would never, like, like, she did that? Or, like, yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm just protecting my heart. I've been in one real relationship, though. That's my next follow-up. Like, have I ever uh, been in a um, serious relationship? I have been in one serious relationship. But that's why it opened my eyes. You know what I'm saying? So, like, to this day, I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed to a relationship. I'm not opposed to getting married. That day is going to come one of these days. I don't know when, but it's going to come. But that's why I'm not in a relationship to this day. It's just like, I don't want to say fame is a thing, but I want a female to take, take everything that I ever like worked for, everything that I ever had, my name. Take all that out with the female want me for me. This black Nigerian, when she want me for me. And that's what it come down to. You know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like first it start off like, she got to be my best friend or like, you know what I'm saying? She has to, I have to make her my best friend. Or I should be able to make her my best friend. But I'm not opposed to uh, a relationship. But <laughs> I'm not in a serious relationship to this day. But I have been in one though, one serious relationship. When I was back in college, playing college football, I met, met a girl freshman year. You know what I'm saying? And we went together all the way through like senior year, even like a year after that. But we was from two different places, like, you know, grew apart. Still to this day, cool though. I don't talk to her anymore, but she cool. So, um, what's another question? Boy, these are loud questions. Hey, y'all ask me a lot of questions, y'all. Hey, y'all, hey, for sure. All right, um, yes, I am single. I am single to this day. I don't have a girl. I'm single. I graduated from college. Like I was saying earlier, I graduated from college, two degrees. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is a good question. Was teaching always something I wanted to do? That's a great question. Uh, I am a teacher. I would say teaching is like, you know, any kids like dream growing up. Like if you even if you like decent in sports, they even even good enough to go to college or some sort to play sports. So, yeah, growing up, it was just like, I want to make it to the NFL. Like I want to play on TV. So I played on TV in college and stuff like that. No, I did not make it to the NFL. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't God didn't. He wanted me to do something else. You know what I'm saying? I got injured and all that back playing and stuff. So the ball went flat eventually. But teaching wise, that's not always what I want to do. I wanted to be in the NFL. But what really made me want to teach, because obviously, like, you know, you got to major in something in college. So it came down between my like, education. And I wanted to be an actor, y'all. I wanted to play in movies. So I was going to major in theater, like in college. But like due to football, it was like real, real hard to do theater. I really couldn't do it. So I could barely do like the teaching route, like in college. Like I had to like miss weights in the morning, miss meetings, like to be in the school doing student teaching. So it was hard. But like my coaches like let me miss stuff and all that. Thank you. I appreciate them. But yeah, they let me like get a, get away with some stuff in college so that I could like major in um, education and all. But I would honestly say I've always been in the classroom like with my mother because my mom was a teacher growing up. When I was growing up, my mom was a, te was a teacher. So I like kind of follow her footsteps. Like she kind of like inspired me like to be a teacher. I always love kids, like being around kids. You know what I'm saying? So I would say my mom... I had a major influence on me being a teacher because I was always around it growing up. So it was like second nature. Like it was like I was I was used to it. 
and I love kids. Like I coached. So I was always around kids. So I feel like it's rewarding. I don't even see them as like students. They yeah, they my students and all, but I see them as like little brothers, little sisters. Like I'm like big brother, big, like that's the bond we have. Like they could talk to me about anything. Like I'm a like cool teacher for for real. Really a cool teacher. But I would say my mom really inspired me to be a teacher. What inspired you to dance? I mean, I would say my father, for real, for real. Like, my father, he was, uh, like, he could dance, for real. Like, my, my dad really could dance. I think I, I got it from him, for real, for real. He could really dance. He was a drum major in the college band, like, everything. Like, he could really dance, dance. So, I would say he probably inspired me along with, I ain't gonna, ain't gonna lie, like, growing up, like, Chris Brown, like, Usher, like, they was dancers, like, real life. You know, they could dance. Like, I that was that was cool. I like that. I'm just like, dang, I want to be like that. So yeah, I would say between like them and my father, they they really inspired me to like want to do that, like dance. On top of always being around it. Um, what is one thing you want to accomplish comp accomplish in 2024? I ain't gonna lie, I accomplished I accomplished a lot. But in 2024, like starting with this video, well, a couple videos ago starting, I want to take YouTube serious. I want to see where I can take this YouTube journey. Like y'all with me from the start, whoever's watching this really with me with my YouTube journey, because I would say my YouTube journey starting right now. Like I'm not like a big YouTuber, like, yeah, I have a YouTube channel, but I never was really dropping content like that. Maybe here, there. Funny story. I was with friend. And YouTube sent me an email and said they was going to unmonetize me if I ain't drop a video. Like, I was not dropping content, like, unless it was, like, audio. I'll probably make a video here and there. But I would say in 2024, this is something I want to accomplish, like, YouTube. I want to, like, see where I can go with this. Who knows? We'll see. Um... How long have I been making music? I would say 2019 when Hit Your Groove came out, me and my homeboy. That was the first time I ever been in the studio. Like, first time ever, like, you know, doing a song. Like, that everything been just dance. But, you know, got in the studio. And to this day, I'm still in the studio. So, I would say 2019, that's when I first started making music. To this day, I'm still a teacher, yes. How many tats do you have? I got 24 tattoos. Like, I'm I'm tatted. Like, I'm really, y'all, I'm really tatted, tatted. Like, I got to look, you know. Both arms tatted. Like, I'm tatted all over my body. Look, I got the Hit Your Groove mark right there. That's my silhouette right there. I got tattoos, like, all right here. Got them on my legs. I got, like, I got to finish my leg sleeve. I got, like, I got, like 24 tattoos, y'all. My first tattoo was at the age of 16 in high school. Um, just back to like the relationship thing. Like, do I have a type or preferences in females? I ain't gonna lie. I'm for the vibes. I don't really have a type. It's just like, no, I'm not talking to you because you don't look a certain way or I'm not talking to you because, nah. I would say I'm open for whatever, for real, for real. You just, I got, I got the vibe with you. Like, you got to look good to me, but you know. What look, all right, I know y'all gonna ask me like what so what looks good to you? I ain't gonna lie. Me personally, I like like thick girls. Like they gotta have me on their bones. But I'm not opposed to skinny. I never dated a skinny girl or like really talked to a skinny girl, so I'm not opposed to it. But I don't know. I just like like thick girls and your face card got to be valid. And you got the like Nigerians, you feel me? And you got to have, you got to smell good. You got to have nice teeth. You get, you got to be able to hold a conversation. You got to have personality. That's my preference. Everything else, you got to be smart too. I can't date no like no, I can't date date no no chicken head, no girl that ain't got no brain, no head on like they got a head on their shoulders, but they ain't got no head on their shoulders. You know what I'm saying? 
But no. Nah. Yeah, that's pretty much it though. But I can buy it with anything though. Like I'm a real understanding person, cool person. Like I'm goofy. You know what I'm saying? I'm goofy. So like I just love to have a good time. Pretty much. Um, who's your favorite person to to collab with? I, I'm one of the people, honestly. I do collabs. I collab with anybody. It don't even got to be influencer or like an influencer. It could be I collab make videos with anybody. I just love doing what I do. I enjoy it. So I don't have a favorite. I love them all, honestly. I just love to have fun. I just I'm a cool person to get along with for real. For real. You know what I'm saying? So I would say I don't have a favorite person to collab with. I love collabing with anybody I come across. Like somebody could see me in the mall in public right now and be like, can we do a video? Come on, set the phone up. What's up? You know what I'm saying? So I don't have a favorite. Uh my biggest inspiration. I would say my biggest inspiration is to be an inspiration to like whoever touch touch lives. Like a lot of kids look up to me and everything. So I feel like that's my biggest inspiration is to inspire them. You know what I'm saying? Like let them know like they can do whatever they want to do, put their mind to it, you know what I'm saying? So like like I like I'm inspired to inspire somebody. Did I, did I say that right? That's my inspiration, is to inspire somebody. Like the little kids looking up to me like, I want to be like that. You can be like that. It takes hard work. Don't get me wrong. Like this name, this is not an overnight thing. So I would say that's my probably my biggest inspiration. is just to be an inspiration to the young ones growing up. Um, what keeps me motivated? I got a level head, y'all. Like, I'm like, honestly, like in the influencer world, everybody wanna be an influencer or say they want to be an influencer. I would say it's not, it's not easy. And you got to be strong-minded. You really got to be strong-minded. I don't care what people got to say about me. I don't care how people feel towards me. Like, none of that stops anything I'm doing. It never will. You know what I'm saying? People going to try to downplay me. You know, like, people going to try to got something negative to say. You always going to have it. That's part of it. But, like, I, I would say that probably keep me motivated to keep going. Because it's, it's a lot of people out here, y'all, that can't handle that. It's just, like, it comes, like, it comes with the territory. Like, yeah, I got a lot of people out here that love me, but I probably got a lot of people that's not too fond of me. Like, they don't, like, you know, people I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, look at him. He think he all that. And I don't. Like, it's just, I'm prospering. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say the number one thing that keeps me motivated is just the supporters. You know what I'm saying? Like, I keep going for them. I do it for them. But like, I do it for the people. Like, it's people that wake up, like, what PJ doing? Let me see. Let me... It's people like that. So, like, that's what keeps me motivated just to keep going, y'all. Like, and I don't care about the naysayers. Like, it's all it, the world we live in, y'all, it's always going to be something, somebody, somewhere that has something to say. That's with anybody. They just, like, they just, they don't live life to the fullest. They, they not living their best life. Like, they have struggles or whatever. So, they just, you know, I get it. But I would say... My supporters motivate me to just keep going. But for all them people that want to be an influencer, it's not an easy, like, it's not no overnight thing. You really got to grind for what you want. But I would say you got to block out all the noise because people going to have something to say about you. Like, you know, you're going to get hate mail. It's just, it is what it is. People not, like, everybody's not fond of you. And that's what you got to realize if you want to fall in this spotlight, in the shoes, it come with it. So, yeah, that's what keep me motivated. All my supporters. Um, How many siblings do I have? Blood siblings? Blood siblings? I have one blood sibling. Like, same mama, same daddy. What made me want to teach math? Well, I was always smart in school. I made all A's. Like, I graduated, like, number four in my high school class. Like, I took, like, AP classes. I was always smart. I always had a brain, like, book smart, all that. You know what I'm saying? Math, why did I want to teach math? That's my favorite subject. Like, I'm just good with numbers. 
Like, it, you know, I could blink and I had like answer in my head. Like, I'm really good. Like, I like numbers. That's why I like sports. I remember people's stats, like all that. Like, I'm real good with numbers. So that's why I wanted to teach math. It's like, really, I was good at all subjects, but math was really the easiest for me. It was like less time consuming for me. You feel me? So that's why I want to teach math. Yes, I will get married. PJ, what advice do you have for starting YouTube and becoming a content creator as a beginner? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like, not on no cocky stuff. But I love that y'all trying to call me a YouTuber, but I'm not a YouTuber. I am not a YouTuber. Now, like, you could call friend a YouTuber. Like, she just started me on this. Like, and I'm about to just be consistent with it. I, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm trying to see where this goes, honestly. But I'm not a YouTuber. I'm, I'm so happy that y'all, like, think I am a YouTuber. But I'm not. But as far as just being an influencer or content creator in general, what advice would I um, give somebody? I would say you got to trust the process. Like, you're not, you're not going to get results overnight. It's not like, okay, one day you'd be like, I want to be an influencer or a content creator. And then the next day, oh, I'm an influencer. I'm a content creator. Look at, like, look at my videos. It's viral. It's a process. You got to just, whatever you do, though, with this content, influence or whatever you got to do, the main thing, like, and this is why people, like, fall off and everything, is the consistency. You got to stay consistent in whatever you do. That's the number one thing. And all of this stuff, all this stuff on the internet, you know, the numbers, you know, all that. It's the consistency. If you stay consistent and stay true, you're going to see results. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's what, like, me and friend, like, we, we realize that and we, like, trust the process. It don't come overnight, y'all. Like, I don't want you to think, like, Oh, I want to do this because it's easy. Like, I dance or I do this. Yeah, that's cool and all, but it's not an overnight process. Like, you really got to grind for it. And you're not, you might not see it a month later. You might not see it the next day, a month later, probably not even six months later. But if you stay true, you're going to slowly start seeing results. Slowly. So, it's just all really is the biggest piece is consistency. You just have to stay true to yourself. Stay consistent. Like, don't get discouraged. Because, like, it's going to be times you probably be, like, second-guessing it. Like, yo. Oh, no, man. Stay true to yourself. Grind, 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 grind. Stay consistent. And you'll you will see it. You'll see it over time. You will see it. I, I promise you that. I promise you that. That's the best advice I can give. All right. Um... What year did I first go viral? Honestly, a lot of people think I went viral like 2019 with Hit Your Groove. Really, I went viral for teaching back on Instagram before then, but I went viral for sports before that. Like, I was on ESPN. Like, me and, it's funny, me and one of my uh, teammates in, in college, like, we went viral or whatever like that, but we had a handshake. But my homeboy, like, we had handshakes with all the players on our team. That went viral. Like ESPN, you know, all that. They they did a story on that. So I've been going viral a lot. Instagram, dance, you know. i just always been in the spotlight. Just blessed. I just failed. It just, like, I was like, God had a plan for me not to go to the NFL, but to do this. Like, I fell in, I fell in these shoes. Like, it was, I was, like, set up to do this. Um... What is someone you always want to tell your parents? I love my parents, but I would say I love them. I can't, it's like unconditional love. Like I cannot stop saying I love them. Like I, every time, every every moment I get, every time I see them, I love y'all. I love you, ma. I love you, dad. Hey, hey, little Jay, I love you. I love them. Love. I'm big on love. I'm big on love. So that's what, I mean, tell my parents. But I tell them every day I love them. That's all. I always want to tell them I love them. I don't want them to ever question my love. But um, why did I stop sports injuries? You so sweat. What inspires your style? Um, honestly, 
Nah, I just like it's like whatever I like, I'ma get, I'ma buy. If I like it, I'ma buy it. I don't really have a style like that. I like fitted clothes or I don't like the oversized. I wear oversized, but I like, you know, fitted. But I don't really I don't really have an inspiration as far as style, like what inspires me to have a certain style. Um Why do anyone know when was my last fight? Y'all really want to know that? I, I tell y'all, my last fight was in college. And it was at football practice. So what happened was pretty much, it was with my teammate. You know, it it won't really like that. It's like, now I ain't going to say it's all love or whatever, because obviously, like, we fought. And why did we fight? Because I felt like he was doing some unnecessary stuff after the play was over. So it was just like I won't go I won't stand it for that. Like you're not about to like do that. Try to hurt me. So that's why we ended up fighting. Like the play was over. I caught the pass. Or whatever. I think he tried to hit me late. Like late hit. So I was like, what? So boom, I I had the football in my hand and I I mushed him with the football, grabbed his helmet, slung him down, like my hand, like to this day, my joint kinda cricket. But I got I got kicked out of practice and all that. We was rumbling it like after the play was over, like on site, like my my um my coaches kicked me out of practice. Like I went, like got in the shower, like went to like the calf, like the cafeteria, like waited for my teammates to get out, like my homeboys and stuff. But yeah, it was like a little quick jump, like a, a ta -ta -ta. and then you know like the coaches like the lineman, cause like we were both skilled players, so the lineman trying to like pull us off of one another and all that, like yeah. They said, what's another talent that you, that you have we don't know about? I mean, I'm athletic. I'm smart. Like, I'm an entertainer. Like, y'all knew that or whatever. But a lot of y'all didn't know I was smart. Like, I'm very, very, very smart. And I'm really athletic. I could play basketball, football, baseball. I could probably play almost. I ran track growing up. But like, I could almost probably do anything. Like, even, even if it's like a sport I haven't played. If, like, I was, like, I had a coach or somebody could teach me, I'd be good at it. Like, I'm very athletic, I feel like, and I'm very smart. Do I have any regrets? I don't live life with regrets. I don't, I mean, I, I'm i not that ashamed to say I don't have any regrets. I live life to the footage, y'all, no regrets. Like, I live life like it's my last. Like, every day, I live my best life, y'all. So, no, I don't have any regrets. Last question. I knew somebody was going to ask this. Who is my celebrity crush? I don't know. Like, I'm not going to lie. I always had a thing for Lauren London, though. And I don't know why. I don't know. It, Lauren London. I just... Lauren London, y'all. My... My celebrity crush is more in London. I like everything about him. Mm, mm, mm. Boom! My God, my God, my God. Lauren London, y'all. Lauren London. Oh, man. Moving through his man. Oh. It's a wrap, man. So, look, y'all. That was the Q&A. Hopefully, you know a little bit more about me. You know what I'm saying? I answer, you know, I answer some questions. Questions people had. You know, give this video a thumbs up. Go make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I'm dropping it April 1st, y'all. I need everybody to go run this video up. It's a QA. I feel like I had to do it. It was only right because now I'm about to start my YouTube journey. So, what better way than to make this video so y'all can know about me? Before I, before we even get started with all the prank or everything. All right? So, make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. I love y'all too, man. I really do love y'all. Hey, we're going to go up all April. And and then after that too, we're going up. We're going up, y'all. We about to rock this thing. So, look. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure y'all go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss an upload. Drop in the comments what y'all want to see us do. What y'all what, what videos y'all want? Drop in the comments. And we gon' 
get right. Drop what y'all want. We're going to make it happen. All right? I love y'all. I do. And we out. Do it with a bounce part two. Ooh, they can't do what I do. Ooh, do it with a two lot -like crew. Yeah, still got to hit my groove. Ooh, when I dance, I'm going to do my move. Ooh, I G from Virginia to Dallas. All the girls know that.